What's up guys, I'm Spencer. Today, in this video, I'm gonna pretty much share all my knowledge about fakies and rollouts and tips and tricks that's gonna help you guys learn them. Or if you already do know it, maybe something that'll make you a little better at it. A couple things you guys need to know before you even do the fakie is to know how your back wheel spins. So take a look at the pedal here and watch how it, like my, it'll slowly back pedal, okay? Check it out. See how it's slowly going? I'll do it again just so you can see it. See how it's slowly going? Watch my feet and how I kind of go back at the speed of my bike. So then it, I have like a surface to put my feet on. If you go too fast, your feet will kind of be hovering and you won't feel stable on the bike. So watch my feet right here. We're gonna go back nice and slow. Check it out. We got my friend Raymond here. He's gonna help me film this. He, he he has a YouTube channel as well, so he knows what he's doing. I got you go down to my camera like he has a YouTube channel. You it's already the, tell. It's he's not the, the camera. Floppy. You go down. He's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you guys what not to do real quick. So I see this all the time. Kids just chainsawing the back wheel back, and you don't have any control of your feet. So let's try that. Here we go. Just gonna rip a new one. Okay, I landed that, <laughs> that, that good, pretty good fakies already. But like, my feet felt like they were hovering the whole time. When you do it kind of slow and go with the gear, you'll feel a lot more stable on your bike. So one thing I see a lot of kids doing on fakies, which is probably one of the biggest things they mess up on, is when they fakie, they lean over the side of the bike. Just like when you ride on a bike, normally you want to keep your weight on the center of the top tube so you can just roll. Free coaster or cassette, you need to keep your weight centered over the top of the bike. I'll show you what you should see. Pretty much you should be looking down the top of the bike. Maybe look at the front tire just so it can help you steer. But you don't want to be over here or over here. You want to be straight down when you're faking, okay? When you turn around, you want to roll and turn your head and your bike will follow you, okay? So now you guys know you got to stay center over the bike. You know how your gear works. If you have a free coaster, you kind of just lock it and just sit over the back tire. Didn't really go over that, but you have a free coaster because that's like easy mode for fakies. No offense to you guys, but if you could ride straight, you could ride backwards with a free coaster. Just kind of lock up and chill out. Now we're gonna go over the rollout, the turnaround, the half cab, whatever you wanna call it. I'll kind of show you guys what I do on a rollout to get it started. I'm rolling, I turn to the left, which may look like the right to you guys, but just know that I'm turning this way. Oh, I turn my bars this way to get me, get my bike turning. And then I just simply lift up and pedal forward and then I'm going that way. So it's like, it's not even like a half cab really. Half cab is when you like are fakey and then just like straight hop into it, which is like kind of a more advanced way to roll out, but you don't need to do that yet. From rolling out this way, I would kind of lean this way just to kind of get my bike going. And if I was going this way, I would just lean just a little bit, barely, just to help me shift my weight back and turn around. Just do a couple real quick couple different ways you guys can do it some like cheater ways that will help you guys get into it and we're just gonna do it on the quarter here you guys can set anything up that makes you go backwards this is just the easiest way to do it Baby, and turn your head and your bike will follow you okay you gotta make sure you turn your head you can't keep looking down we go watch the head turn guys So if we slow-mo break that down right now, you'll see that I turn my body before I turn my bike. So turn your head and body and then pull the bike with you, okay? Another key thing that it's gonna be a little tricky to learn, if you're right foot forward, you want, you're gonna prefer to have your right foot forward when you half cab or turn around. So try to time it out. I always kind of like like speed it up at the end and then turn just so I got my good foot in front and it helps with like half cap tricks too so I'll try to I'll try to show you that. So I do like a little quick one. And that goes for like any fakie trick. You want to have that that right foot in front. Right, so this little section is for you guys that have never landed. A rollout, or you're not good at it. It's just some cheat codes that people might 
make fun of you for, but it's gonna help you and you'll get way better at it in no time. So we're gonna go over, first one we're gonna do is the super pedal pressure where you just like almost lock your feet up and come to a complete stop and you don't even really roll out. You just kind of do a pedal back and then just have faith in your chain and go forward again, okay? Just landing anything is gonna help, okay? So let's see if we can do this. Gonna go slow, pedal back, and then see that? Just kind of, it helps, okay? Okay, and then once you kind of get that, then you can evolve that into something like this. We'll see if I can do it. Where you kind of turn around a little bit. I landed it. It looked interesting, do it again. <laughs> okay. There you go. Once you kind of get into turning it around, you want to uh, keep your weight over the back tire. Feet straight, weight over the back tire, and kind of pull up. And pretty much as you get to 90, push forward to propel your weight in the way you want to go, okay? And when you're not going to land it, you might as well just do a correction hop and land it rather than just like put your foot down and not land it. So pretty much the correction hop is, is like you want to get your your like formal foot in front, which would be my right foot. That's the foot that I like to have in the front. And just do like, say I'm like leaning, I'll just like reset and like hop up. So I'll show you how to respawn your fakie so you can save it. I'll just have to do like a long faking until I have to do that. It's not pretty at all, but you land it. Watch the pedal pressure, guys. I'm not pedaling back super fast. I'm just going with it. A little correction hop. We're still fakey. Do a couple of those. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep your feet nice and smooth. Correction hops are not usually good, but for you guys that are just trying to learn this, do whatever you can to land the fish, right? Especially if you're a free coaster, don't don't be scared to do the little hop. It's not really like good fakie etiquette or whatever you want to call it. It's not good form to do the, the correction hop, but for you guys that are new to this, just do what you gotta do to land it and you'll get better over time. If you don't have a skate park near you, you can still learn the fakie. All you gotta do is run into a, a wall, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like slowly go into the wall maybe use my paddle pressure and push into it and then I'm gonna push my way off the wall in order to get a fakie and this this helps with bike control I think I put it in a video before but it's very good for fakie so let's do it here we go I'm gonna run into this wall right here and then you can do it the prettier way which is lift your back wheel up I was never good at that, but there it is. That's a trick for you guys. So this trick's a little more advanced, but it definitely helps a lot with your fakies. What you're gonna do is come up and do a little bit of an alley-oop spin to a 90, and then pedal back, and then you can just pretty much turn your front wheel and come down. It'll help a lot with if you're working on 180s and you can't get the spin around, that trick helps a lot, and it's like super fun to do. So here we go, we'll do it. We'll show you how to do it. It is super low risk. So don't be scared to try it. And then, beautiful. Like, just beautiful. You don't even gotta pick your front wheel up, you just kinda just just turn your wheel. Super safe to try and it helps a lot with bike control and you can add a lot of stuff onto it in the future. So give that one a try. This is where Raymond comes into hand after his no, amazing no, 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 filming. No, no, no. Nyquist. Nyquist? Oh, the Nyquist pads. Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, he's a pro scooter rider, but he's kind of familiar on a BMX bike, but we're going to help him with his fakies real quick. Safety first. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like have Raymond go up the ramp. I'm going to come in and grab his crossbar. And depending on how much he needs my help, I'm going to assist him and like try to guide him to help him with his fakies. It's a new idea. We'll, we'll give it a try. Come on, son. We got this. 
Oh yeah, you got it. I'm so good at baking. There we go. <laughs> Can you just go with me to X Games and do that, please? <laughs> Oh, oh, I got you, son! Oh, no. Oh, Go, roll out! Roll out! It's just a funny way, but it actually helps. I've helped some kids here with that, so maybe get your friend to try that with you. Take turns. It'll be, keep it interesting. Get that roll out. Oh! Oh, you gotta pick that wheel up! I don't know, my bad. You gotta be quicker than that. I'm learning. <laughs> I just had somebody grab my bar. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Indian giver, like if you spin one way and roll out the other way, it's an Indian giver. It's only pretty much acceptable in like grinds and stuff. So don't, try not to do it. If you do it, it's okay. I'm not gonna make fun of you, but it look it just looks better when you when you do it the right way. So I'll do like a three to fakie and roll out the right way. Then I'll I'll do an oppo three to fakie and roll out the wrong way. And it, it'll just look it'll look wrong. Here we go. Three to fake. Alright, I'll go three to fake. Oh, that looked wrong. That was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know how hard that Indian giver was. <laughs> it was hard. Hard to watch. Here's a switch roll out, just for you guys. Know, I, I free coaster hot mine. Switch roll out. Yep. You didn't tell me there's a. <laughs> All right, it's another cheater move you're about to see. Pretty much, you're gonna go up the ramp, take my feet off, and try to like balance like this. It'll kind of help you find like your center balance, and there's like absolutely no risk. Like if you feel like you're falling off, your foot is already off. You just kind of just can like dribble, dribble around. Here we go. So if you start leaning to the left, you just kind of put your foot down. To the right, put your foot down. Keep correcting yourself. So the goal is to not to not put your feet down at all. You just want to kind of just sit and ride back. But if you have to, touch your feet and try to keep your balance. Oh. Hey, it's really fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you kind of figure out where your arms need to be, so definitely give that a try too. All this stuff will add up into a perfect fakie. So what I'm about to do is insane, bro. No, I'm just gonna try to fake it down this hill. I'm gonna be going pretty fast, so I'm gonna be using a lot of pedal pressure to slow myself down and doing a lot of correction hops to try to survive and make it to the bottom. Here we go. Let's do this. I don't know why you guys watch this video. I do not know how to fake it. But uh, let me know what you thought about it and maybe what you want to see next. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out some of those videos over there. And also check out Raymond's channel right there. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, insane, crazy, fail. Yeah, Bo.